That's right, folks. You saw it right. You saw the thumbnail. Today we're making a spicy smothered turkey wing recipe. Super easy. This is Chef Ty's, uh, this is your recipe. So talk to us. Tell us what we're doing. We're about to make some spicy Cajun smothered turkey wings. Let's get it. Okay, folks, so look, you seen this, you know, we went ahead and just prepped, you know, our veggies, right? Now, if you guys pay attention, look, it's not a whole lot of ingredients. That's one of the things I like about this recipe here. Listen, when you smother them, look, inexpensive on the pocket, the whole shebang. But the real star is, that's this young man right here. I'm gonna show you by looking at the side, that ain't no young man, that was a big man right here. This is a big bird right here. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take these turkey wings, we're gonna cut them down. You can see they're really big, so we wanna put them inside our pan. So we'll cut off the drum, and the flap right here. All right, so look, while you trimming that up, I'm gonna make some room right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put our 13 by nine in the middle, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start this bed of veggies down. Now, I don't know about you, but I always spray my 13 by nine, no matter what I'm putting this on. No, that's a good point though. That's a good point, because now, you know, allow enough the veggies to stay at the bottom. That is the first layer. Okay, man, so I see your layout. Look, I'm almost done. You see, I got everything laid out right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a smash. Yeah. Let's get it open, all right? So now the next step, we're gonna go ahead to inject these with the good old spicy Cajun butter. So we're gonna get this here, get you a syringe. We got Dr. Chef Ty in the building. Hmm. I told you this before though, look, I, I've always been a brine guy. I started out as an injector. Right? But it seems like it just does so much yeah. better. But I have injected and brine just to bring the, the flavor yeah. over the top. Just trying to show out, you know? Just trying to show out, huh? That's it. There you go. Now we're gonna inject it just like you're doing the Botox. All right. So now we're gonna take the remaining butter, we're gonna drizzle on top of here, we're gonna rub it on the turkey long wings. And let me just ask you this, man. Can anybody make, you, you can keep going. But what I'm saying, do they have to make it like more like of a buffalo typish? No, they don't have to. It could have just been like butter, a compound, a regular compound, yep. right? Okay. Or just straight butter. Huh? Straight butter. But I guess if I was doing all this, I would probably want to inject it with uh, some type of compound. Exactly, yeah. Right. We're just going to rub it in here. Right. So we give the seasoning something to stick to. So it's for taste and bind. Tight, yep. Gotcha. So look, since your hands is, is, is like super wet, I'm going to go ahead and go over the top. I'm going to go ahead and just pause. And then we're gonna continue from there. Go ahead. All right, man. So look, I'm gonna go ahead and comb my salt first. Yeah. Right? These are some big pieces of meat. Listen, so it take a little bit. You know what I mean? Just a little bit. Those are like regular size pinches. You know, we got that going, right? They're still nice and wet. Yeah, nice and wet. Right, now I'm gonna come back over the top. I don't know, man. I treat all my protein like I do as if I was gonna get out there on the grill and the smoke. Mm -hmm. I like to put a little bit of you know, rub or season them on. I'm mean, gonna flip it over and do the other side. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing. On same this. process. Right. Hey, speaking of all of that, now would be a great time for us to go ahead and preheat this oven. You go ahead and continue with that, and I'm gonna go ahead and get this going. So I just preheated the oven up to 350 degrees. How long are we gonna stay in the oven? These are gonna cook for about, Man. cause we're gonna sear it first to get that nice golden crust on, on both sides. And then we're gonna, you know, throw it in the oven, cook about, you know, maybe about 40 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes. Then we're gonna be fall off the bone. They're gonna fall right off the bone. You yeah, see? All right, so obviously, obviously, looking at that right now, we got a little bit of heat in that pan, right? You can see the heat coming up, guys. All right, so listen, you guys, if you, you already know, I use Brand Vine products for everything. This right here is my garlic infused. We just wanna put a couple of tablespoons, maybe a little bit more. A little bit more, yeah. You know what I mean? That right there, we gonna use that. Now listen, when you guys use like good ingredients from the gate, this and you know this is like the start of having something of creating something good, right? Exactly. So yep. this be my little secret weapon. That's your secret weapon. I'm gonna yes, need sir. that secret weapon one day. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and take our turkey wings. We're gonna place the flat side down like this. Okay. You hear that sear? Cause you want to hear. When you look at it, you can see the skin tighten it up. This is what we want. So we only cook it in just a few seconds on each side. We just want to brown it and get a nice crust on it. Okay, man, so this part right here, look, you can't step on my toes on this one right here. I can hand my own, handle myself. I don't care who it is. You know what, we finna make a gravy. I'm gonna make a gravy, we're gonna use this butter right here. Mm -hmm. use hey, just so you know, we finna use all this butter. 
Just gonna let that melt down. Then we add some flavor, I mean, some flour, a little bit at a time. Now you cook it like I cook it, a little bit at a time. Get that mixed in, cook the flour taste out, let it marinate, pick up all the flour, you know, them, okay. them flavors there. Then you can like watch it. You see how it turns color, bubbles up, all that. that you know what it's saying right now? If you listen to it, it's asking for a little bit more. Just a little flour. more flour, add a little more of that flour. All right. We can hear him talking to us. All right, there you go. Now check it out. I want you guys to talk to us down in the comment section below and tell me what you think about this gravy right here. You guys got any certain techniques? Do you just dump it in here? A lot of my chefs that come here, they tell me like, hey man, I dump it in there. But for me, I like to just add a little bit at a time. Slowly. And I'm gonna hold it up right there just so all you right. get it all done. So we can get it all in there, incorporated, all come combined. There we go. I'm loving the color right now too though. And I can see all of the bits of the flavor, you know, in there. That's that fine, it picks That's it up just perfectly. Okay, man, now we go ahead and add got some soy sauce. Soy, and this and is W. W sauce. I'm gonna come with my soy first, right? While you working that in, I'm gonna come with that W. Talk to me if you know what that is, what the W sauce is. Let me know down in the comment section below. Now we're gonna go behind it. We have some heavy cream. This is cause gonna be nice and still thick and runny, but once they have that nice creamy consistency to it. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of that garlic paste in there, and now I'm gonna add a little bit of that. Little bit of that this. Shard, shard hole. Where's that? A little bit of this. A little bit, a little bit of this wine right here. <laughs> I know you ladies know about this wine right here, so we're gonna add a little bit in there. Okay, man, so the only thing left to do is, now we got that tasting good. I'm gonna give AB the honor to pour this over here. All right. And I'm gonna come here and assist them. So with I'm gonna start on that way, and I'm gonna start on that end, and then work my way down. Right. All right. Yep. So here we go. So how long are we gonna put that in? So now we're gonna cook this about 45 minutes, 30 minutes wrapped, and then 15 minutes uncovered. Okay. So look, we just put everything out of the oven, right? I gotta let you guys know that these are some big turkey legs, right? So look, when you go to the, you know, the actual drumstick, it's gonna need a little bit more time because you want to get it it's like super tender. And when I say tender, this is what I'm talking about right here. You gotta be able to get this like this. You see that go in there like butter? You see that? I hit a bomb. You see that right there? I can shred this with this. That's what you wanna have, look. Easy, super, and simple. You know what I mean? But listen, what you gotta do is, check it out. You gotta like check it, and you gotta you have some kind of probe, toothpick or something like that. So this actually ended up going about an hour and a half. Why? And that was really so because of the uh, drumstick. Now, listen, I did a lot of talking, but I want you guys to make sure that when you make it, it come out right. Now, I'm finna show you something, make you, you know, put up with all of this talking right here, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of this gravy. I didn't already taste the gravy. And look at that right there. I'm just gonna pour it like that. Look how soft and veggies it is. Now this right here, That's this is tender, smell, huh? Nice and tender. Nice and tender. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Mm-hmm. That's what we talking about right there. I don't know about you, chef guy, but this right here, hey, you put your foot in this right here. Now I got a version, you know what I mean, that if I was gonna bring something to the plate, but this right here, a tall tree to climb right here. This right here is fire. Now listen, I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below, what would you even serve this on top of? You see all this gravy. I know most of y'all are gonna say rice, so we're gonna take rice out of that, and then I wanna know what are your second options. Right, because rice is too easy. Rice is too easy. Right, all right. Hey, so with that being said, I'm not finna over talk it. This right here is fire. My rice cooker over there is going. It's about ready, so I'm about to load up. And we did a, uh, what was that, a Cajun seafood cornbread dressing. Got so it. listen, we about to, hey, did I get it that time? You got it that time. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, with that being said, hey, wrap it up, man. Let's get out of here. I'm your boy, Chef Ty. You can catch me on Instagram and TikTok at Chef Ty, Chef underscore Ty 951. Thank you, A.B., for having me to be on your show. Hey, and it's, it's all good. When you bring stuff like this, man, I can always be here. <laughs> hey, so with that being said, you know how I leave all my videos, right? Yep. Check this out, folks. We out. We out. Peace.